Hey everybody, it's MJ here, just playing fun on YouTube. And check it out, I got the new whiteboard. This is the wish list, want list. So if you contact me and there's something that I don't have in stock, I can throw it up on the board. And whether somebody else finds it before me or whatever the case, we're gonna get you hooked up with the part that you need. Just contact me, let me know. And now that we got that out of the way, today's video is about the slitter that's found on most, nearly all Stanley combination planes. You've heard of hammer time. Well, now it's slitter time. Whether you have a Miller's patent, a number 46, a number 55, or a number 45, each of these planes came with a slitter when they were originally purchased. I was recently fortunate enough to find a number 45 plus extras on eBay that had five additional slitters. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity to talk a little bit about them and put them up on my Shopify store, which I am going to link to in this video and in the comments. There are essentially two versions of the slitter. One is going to be the patented version. And as you can see, it's patented October 24th, 1882. And then the other one is the non-patented version. If you're not sure if your number 45 would have had a patented slitter or not, you can of course consult with Dave Heckel in this book if you can find it. Sometimes it pops up on eBay. Of course, you can just make a post in one of the hand plane groups like Combination Plane Headquarters on Facebook, for example, if you're on Facebook. But the takeaway here is type 7 and earlier for your number 45s are the ones that had the patented slitter. For your Miller's patents, so your 41s, 42s, etc., 43s, a good place to look is going to be John Walter, Stanley Tools, you know, Guide to Identity and Value. This is actually an older one, so the ones that you're looking for are going to be the ones that have the opening back here. So this is just for demonstration purposes only. It would not have been issued, but these things are so old that the patent for the slitter was actually issued, and the slitter came out later, and these were actually introduced during the Type 6 era for the Miller's Patent plow planes. They actually stopped making the Miller's Patent plow planes in 1897. So all of them from Type 6 all the way through Type 9 are all going to have the patented slitter. If you have a number 46 and you're not sure if it would have had a patented slitter or not, a good place to look, patented uh, transitional metallic planes, aka P. Tampia from Roger K. Smith. And the type study for the 46s is in here if you can manage to get a copy of it or maybe you have a friend that has one or again, put a post up on Facebook, whatever the case, combination plane headquarters on Facebook and we can help you figure it out. But this is another plane that was so old, it was being made so early that the slitter came later and it was introduced on a later model on these. Last and certainly not least, you've got your number 55. And if you're not sure if this one would have had a patented slitter or not, the best place you can look is probably going to be in the same book for the 45 from Dave Heckel or similar. You're just looking for the same characteristics because the 45 and 55 pretty well mirrored each other. And there's no known type study for the number 55, at least not that I know of. If you know of one, please let me know. Send me a link to it, um, the book, etc., and I will get one. But a good rule of thumb is... The slitter was patented up through 1906, or they were on planes that were issued up through 1906. And then starting in 1907 is when the patented slitter goes away. And again, you can just use that guideline for when you're typing your number 55. For combination planes in general, this is a pretty good book. It's pretty affordable. You can buy a copy that does not have this clear print as what you see right here on Amazon. It's from Astragal Press. Um, I actually have one or two copies available at the time of this video being filmed as well. But the takeaway, what I want to show you here is the slitting tool is actually blade number eight. So it was stock with any plane, as I mentioned previously, that was sold during that time frame. And this is what it might have looked like. So this is a number 55 box, of course, but you can see it's blade number eight. Now it doesn't actually fit in the box. If you have all the other cutters installed or stored away in there. So the way I understand it is it was actually on the plane when it was purchased. But for the purposes of accounting for all of your blades, it does show up there on the label. So if you're in the market for a slitter or if you need the slitter depth stop and or the set screw, the holding screw that puts all that together, just let me know. 
what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to list some of these slitters on my Shopify store, which again, I'm going to link to in both the video description as well as in the comments. I'm going to have a pinned comment on there so you'll be able to find them. And as always, thank you for watching. And if it feels like I'm trying to tell, sell you something, it's because I am trying to sell you something. I'm trying to sell you a slitter or five.